Welcome back everybody. I am super excited about this video today because I have swatches for you. I tried to simplify it so I went ahead and I already have the swatch palette going down my arm. As you can see I got kind of intense with it as I went down because uh, earlier if I tried to do it it was taking like 15 minutes to go through everything and that's just too long. So I figured I would pre-swatch. Uh, first I'm opening the packaging. I'll give you my initial thoughts. Um, but first before I get into makeup theme Everybody knows that every year, Walgreens puts out Nightmare Before Christmas products. For those of you that don't know me, I am obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. It is not exactly my favorite movie. The Crow is my favorite movie because the literal release date, year, day, everything is my birthday, the day I was born. So I identify very well with that cult film. There's a lot of feels while watching that movie, and if you haven't seen The Crow yet, I highly recommend that you go watch it. So if you haven't, go check that out. Especially around Halloween, it is a great fall movie. It is a great year-round movie just like Nightmare Before Christmas. The age-old question is, do I watch Nightmare Before Christmas for Halloween or Christmas? Watch it for both. Watch it all year. Watch it in April. It is a great movie. The music on it is beautiful. Danny Elfman does a wonderful job in all of the scores. I believe he also does the singing voice of Jack. He doesn't do the regular talking voice, but he does do the vocals, and it is a great movie if you haven't seen it. I will do a tour eventually in my room. I think I've mentioned that before. It is in Nightmare Before Christmas theme. Going back to Walgreens. This year, they have an Oogie Boogie sale. For those of you that are fans, there's not usually Oogie Boogie stuff. There's always Jack and Sally, and that's about it. This year, they not only have a Zero doll that plays music, they have an Oogie Boogie pillow. And look at the size of this thing. It is huge. There's also a Jack Skellington pillow that is the same size as this. I'm definitely going to get it put on my bed to go with my Night Before Christmas comforter. I am so excited about this pillow, guys. I can't even begin to describe to you how awesome. Tommy loves it too. He thinks it's super soft. He's already slept on it a couple times. As soon as I brought it home, he was rubbing up against it. Um, if there's anyone new, Tommy's my cat. He likes to go in and out of the frame occasionally. Right now, he's sleeping under my feet and messing around with my calendar that he knocked over. <laughs> um, but now back to makeup. First off, uh, I don't have the actual packages in here, but this is the box that Lime Crime sends out for your packages. Um, the thing that's kind of awkward about it is if you only buy one tube, it's still the same size packaging because last time I bought one in Wicked, it's like a dark crimson, and I still got a box that looked like this. Um, but the unicorns with the heart and wings, it's very cute. Um, their regular like tube packaging for at least their liquid to matte looks like this. This time I bought four of them. I bought them in black velvet. Raven, Salem, and Pumpkin. I'm wearing Pumpkin right now. I wanted to try that one out because it was the one I was the most excited about. You can't really tell because it looks kind of red on camera, but it's more like a burnt orange. It's very cute. I was very apprehensive about buying it because I've never tried an orange uh, lipstick before, especially a liquid to matte lipstick. But this one, I think, is a great fall color. It's very cute. It'll go in a lot of different kinds of skin tones. So if you guys are interested, it is on sale on their website right now, as is Black Velvet. So if you're interested in some fall colors, I would definitely check out their sale section. It's $16 instead of $18, which I know doesn't seem like a huge sale, but it's worth it. Um, some of their other ones are normally $20, so to get it for $16 is pretty good, and I would check it out now while they're still on sale. Um, they might take it off being on sale either if they discontinued them or because it's fall season and black and orange. Halloween, it's probably going to come back up to be regular price, so go check it out now while you can. I'll link that for you below. And the other uh, lipsticks that I tried are the Ultra Metallic Colors from ColourPop. Um, I've ordered from ColourPop before. I've gotten a couple of their lippy sticks. I love the primer that they have with them. It makes them last very long. The liners help as well. They come in a, a bunch of different colors. But I had heard a lot of stuff about the metallics, both good and bad. Um, some people were saying that they didn't swatch very well, which I don't think you should base your whole experience on a lipstick based off of if it swatches pretty or not. I know you can get pigment that way, but it does look different. It's like buying a dress. On the hanger, it might look okay, but when you put it on and the way you fill it out, it could be absolutely gorgeous on you. You just got to give it a try. So I figured I'd go ahead and order them. Uh, I bought one in Zebra, which is from their first set of metallics, and then one in Mugshot from one of their newer sets. I think they have eight in total. They might have a couple more out now with their newest collaboration that they've done. But I'm going to go down these swatches before this video gets too long. So I have them here for you. These top three are ColourPop. I also added in there, um, this is a lippy stick I've had bought before. It's in Nevermind. Not Nevermore, but Nevermind. 
Um, I wanted to compare it to the purple that I had gotten from Lime Crime so you get a better idea of like a liquid lipstick versus just the lippy stick. Um, the lippy sticks are kind of like in this white tubing. And they look like that. It's a very pretty color. It looks a lot darker than it shows up in the swatch. Um, I haven't tried it before. This is the first time I've actually used it. It's the first time I've really used any of these. Um, but going down my list, this is Mugshot for uh, ColourPop. This one is Zebra. It's more like a brown gold color. This is the Nevermind in like a dark purple, the lippy stick. This one, these are the Lime Crime ones. So this first one is in Raven. Now Raven was in their uh, Duo Mood set that they came out with a while ago. It was like a $40 bundle of two different colors. It was this dark purple and marshmallow, which was kind of like a pale pink. I don't really do pale lip colors. I stick more towards something that's more dark. Uh, I like browns, uh, dark reds, and I've been trying to get into the purples recently. Uh, I haven't had too much luck with it, but I really like this color for ColourPop, um, the Nevermind one. But I love the Raven one. Every time that somebody swatched it or wore both colors, it always very much stood out to me, especially against that very pale color, and I really wanted to try it. But I didn't want to spend $40 on a bundle when I would only use one, so when they came out with the singles, it was like, you gotta get it. So, <laughs> gave it a try. And I do really like the way that it looks. Um, this is only actually like one layer of it really, but it is really pretty. It has a very nice purple plum undertone. This one seems more like what I would call purple. And this one, it's, I don't really know how to describe the difference of it. That's like a dark purple. This is kind of like a, a plum purple. Um, where this, like if you think of like the rainbow and you think of the color purple, that's kind of what stands out to me. It's not really like a bright purple, like, you know, ColourPop has bright purple cards that they send out. Um, I don't really know how else to describe it aside from this one being like a dark matte and this one being kind of like maybe brighter undertones. Um, the one underneath it is their black velvet liquid to matte. You're going to have to definitely do a couple layers of that in order to get it to show up. This one is Salem. I was going back and forth between Salem and Saddle. Both of them are kind of a brown color. Salem was more brown. Saddle is more like a rustic uh, kind of like orange brown color. It looked very pretty. I looked at all the different pictures on Instagram. I thought that people that wore it, it looks great on them. I might end up getting that one eventually. It's part of their new Live In on a Prairie set. You can also buy them individually. You don't have to buy the whole bundle package. So I just got the one, or I wanted to get just the one, but I will eventually. But in this case, I got Salem. Um, it also goes with my fall theme that's going on here. Uh, eventually, I will go to Salem, Massachusetts. My cousin tells me it is beautiful around this time of year, so I'll have to check it out. And this last one is one that I'm wearing currently. This is Pumpkin. It is definitely a burnt orange. It is not a very bright orange. I've never tried anything that's really bright on my lips before, except for maybe a bright purple occasionally. Um, but this one I like a lot right now. I think it's super cute. I think it's wearable every day. It doesn't really matter the time of year. I think you could wear it in spring with a cute pastel outfit. You could probably wear it in the winter time too with darker colors. Um, I'm definitely going to keep this on for right now because I love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, it's on sale, like I said, along with the black velvet one, if you guys want to go ahead and check those out. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the way that the colors look swatched. I don't really know how I'm going to feel about wearing them. I think what I might do next, because uh, I didn't really want to sit here and put them on, take it off, put them on, take it off, because that's just a long video. And if I don't know how to edit that down, I don't want y'all sitting there for, you know, 20 minutes watching me do that. But I will try, maybe post some pictures on my Instagram to see what they look like. But you already see what pumpkin looks like. I'll probably do videos in the future where I'm wearing them. And I'll mention, if I'm wearing one, which one it is and what it looks like. Um, but overall, I'm really happy with this haul. I'm so glad I finally got the mail thing figured out and I could show them to you guys. Here's one last look at what the swatches look like. Those metallics are very shimmery. I wish I could show you guys better. The lippy stick is a great matte. That was maybe one or two strokes of it. Um, it's great with the primer. It sticks very well. Um, these liquid to mattes probably need a couple layers. This is two layers of the pumpkin on right now, I believe. And it's not very streaky. It went on pretty well. Um, I had never really wore liquid lipsticks before. I just would, like, take out the wand once, go around and see what it looked like. But you're supposed to do right here in the center, your cupid's bow, dip it again, and then kind of get your corners. Or you can use a lipstick brush so you're not applying the wand directly. Just to give you guys an idea of what the packaging and the wands look like, these are the metallic packaging. They're bigger than I expected, which is nice. Um, ColourPop is very cheap, but they're cheap in a good way. I really like their products. This is what the wand looks like. You can see that shimmer kind of there on the end. It's smaller than the Lime Crime one. I haven't used a liquid from them yet, so I'm excited to try that out and give you some more feedback kind of on how it 
feels going on. This is Salem. As you can tell, the wand there is a little bit bigger. Um, there's a product on the end of it. Uh, one warning is that these smell a little. I don't mean like they stink. Um, they just kind of, they have like a faint smell. Like after it dries, you don't really notice it, but putting it on, you do. But pumpkin smells like Play-Doh. Like the other ones have like a weird kind of aroma, but pumpkin straight up smells like Play-Doh. It's very nostalgic. If you like Play-Doh growing up, you're going to love that one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the swatches. I'm so glad I got to finally show them to you. I will be posting more on my Instagram account, and I will be posting more videos in the future, hopefully wearing these colors so you can get a better idea of what they look like. Uh, Tommy kind of was hiding from me today. Uh, I don't know if you got to see him running around or not. There's a couple of videos I've made in the past where you can just see him shooting back and forth and doing crazy stuff. Um, but I hope you guys have a great, wonderful, and very strange afternoon. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you come back for more in the future. Bye. <laughs>